Welcome to the Digital Journey Podcast. Every successful online business entrepreneur has an incredible story to share about their journey to success. Listen and learn from top digital mavericks and online business insiders as they share their secrets so you can live the lifestyle you deserve. Your pilots for today's journey, Rob Fortney and Nick Nimmin. Welcome aboard, passengers. The digital journey begins now. Welcome to the Digital Journey Podcast, navigating your online business voyage. I'm Rob Fortney from the Amazon Gorillas and my partner, Nick Nimmin. How are you doing today, Nick? I'm doing awesome, Rob. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. If this is your first time listening, thanks again for coming. And if you're returning, nice to see you again. The Digital Journey Podcast is produced every week for your enjoyment. Come back often and feel free to add the podcast to your favorite RSS feed or subscribe below. And if you want to see our handsome faces, you can watch the video version of this podcast on our website, digitaljourneypodcast.com. Ooh, and we got an exciting guest today. It's Rob Cuban. Um, he comes from around London, England, and he's into Amazon merch, web and graphic design, and selling ebooks. How are you doing today, Rob? I'm doing just great, Rob. Fantastic. So uh, we're going to go and uh, talk about today. You're going to share with us how you haven't worked a job in almost 10 years. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, you will be interested <laughs> to hear about how you haven't worked in, in almost 10 years. That's a pretty cool deal. Absolutely, it is. And before we get into that, the Digital Journey podcast is brought to you by our friends at Empire Flippers. Empire Flippers is the number one curated marketplace for buying and selling established, profitable online businesses. Visit their website at empireflippers.com and see what businesses are for sale. Or if you already own a business, there's a great place on their website where you can get your business evaluated and see how much it's worth. Let's get this journey started. Welcome again, Rob Cuban. How are you, buddy? I'm still doing fine, Rob. Well, fantastic. <laughs> Good, and not a lot's changed in the last 30 yeah. seconds. Well, you know, at least, at least we were checking. We want to make sure everyone's all exactly. right. You know, we don't well, have anybody have a heart attack while we're here, <laughs> yeah, right? Right, right. So, keeled over. You just got into town, so he's, he was uh, in uh, England for, uh, yeah, a, couple for a little weeks, bit. Yeah, a couple of weeks, jet lag, man. That's yeah, why I'm Right, and I knew, two, I knew two days ago he just got back, and you just got back, too. You yeah. guys are all jet lagging. So I'd like to start out with the with the with the first question that is to give us some backstory mm -hmm. and you know where you come from and mm -hmm. how you started on your journey to be successful online. And uh, so just tell us where you come from and your backstory. Well, similar to you, Robin, I was working a, a um, normal jobs for a while, you know. I, had, uh, I was in England and I was doing web and graphic design, uh, freelancing, so I'd go in on the underground train, go to work in various offices around London, and work and uh, come home at six o'clock, turn the t TV on. And that was my life. I didn't have any other aspirations other to do that. So um, things turned around for me. It's a long story, but uh, basically I started up a website in 2005, started blogging and gradually started to get clients, you know, just doing s the sort of web and graphic, well, graphic design work that I was doing in the offices, but I was doing it at home. Uh, this is when, um, you know, the internet sort of kicked in fast, uh, Wi-Fi was available, so I gradually, gradually started to pick up more clients and then gradually, gradually started to stop working for uh, businesses and temp jobs that I didn't, you know, in town that I didn't want to work for. And uh, that was a big win for me. I couldn't believe that I could set up a business and make money on my own. But it grew from that because I was very interested in passive income. So I started selling ebooks and video courses. And that actually took over from my business uh, working for clients. And then since then, I've got into other things and become digital uh, location independent and um, done FBA and merch and, and various other things like that. Did you have a business background before you before you got into all not, of this? Not at all. No. Okay. No. Yeah, I was very much. Uh, it does. It doesn't run in the family. Um, I, I. You know, I never wanted to be an entrepreneur. I knew I was unhappy. Uh, I was extremely unhappy doing what I was doing. Uh, that was maybe you know what what drove me. Uh, but I never in my million, in never in a million years in my wildest dreams did I ever believe that I'd be an entrepreneur. You know, sure, sure. It's amazing. It is amazing, and that's why I'm so I'm, I'm very evangelical about it. You know? Yeah, that's good though. Uh, yeah. That's good. We all are. Yeah, yeah that's, well, that's why yeah. we're here. Uh, yeah, right. we love to hear. We I, I think when you hear a story about somebody who hadn't done it business before yeah. and they figured it out, I, I think that's the most inspirational people because I know there are people out there in the, in the land of people considering doing this who are scared because they never did business before and. You're another inspiration that it can be done. 
How did you How did you educate yourself on uh, online business? Ah, well, I, I guess or did you I, just wing it. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I just like you know looked at blogs and stuff and. Uh, yeah, I literally, I just sat down and I thought, well, it would be nice if I could get people from Google to look at my site and then they could call me or uh, contact me and then ask me to do work for them. And uh, I just I just thought, oh, well, that would be nice, you know. So I literally Googled, how do you get people from Google onto your site and read a little bit about Google SEO back in the day. This is ten, over ten years ago now. It was a little bit more simple in those days. Back in the wild, wild west. Exactly, exactly. And, you said and, 2005. I mean, heck, we didn't even have smartphones. We, right. You were texting people. One, one, yeah. two, two. <laughs> yeah, you look back and it does seem like an, another world now. But um, yeah, no, no, the, 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 the facts of the matter is it was a little bit easier. And all I had to do was write lots of content on my blog. And I, I, I actually ended up on the first page of Google for Freelance Graphic Designer London. Nice. And uh, yeah, that was like the title of the blog and it was in a lot of blog post titles. This still works today, but just to a, a lot less extent, you need thousands more backlinks. And I started to get backlinks. I started to um, liaise with other bloggers. And that's to answer your question. It was on, going online and meeting people online and also going to meetups as well, um, like, like we do here in Chiang Mai and, and I did in London, you know, meeting people, other entrepreneurs and talking to them and finding out how it's done. And that shows the power of, of, of community. Yeah. You know, of, 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 you know, being around like minded people and, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of times, you know, a lot of people listening to this most likely are, you know, they're they're surrounded by the people that are that are in the rat race. So mm -hmm. their their yeah. conversations consist of how much their job sucks, how, oh, yeah. crap, Monday's coming, mm -hmm. you know, and things like that to where an advantage that we have in the circles that we run is we enjoy what it is that we do. We've created yeah. what it is that we do. And, and because of it, it's a more, you know, much more pleasant experience and, and being a part of that community of people that are. Uh, of similar mind yeah. is is an amazingly valuable tool for propelling your, yourself. Yeah, and not only with information, but w also with, with just, um, you know, giving you enthusiasm. Sure. And I, I would say meetup.com uh, was a great tool at that time. You know, it was, it was very useful in London. It depends on where you live. But you just, just, just go to meetup.com and go entrepreneurial meetups near oh, nice. you. And, and you know you'll find a lot. You don't have to do that here because obviously you find out about them anyway. But in London, that was a lifeline for me. Yeah. Nice. Right. So, what was your biggest hurdle to getting started to make what I call that big jump off the hamster wheel? So, what gave you the courage to do that? Because at some point you said, "I'm giving up mm -hmm. what you thought was security," because they can fire us at any yeah. point. So, whatever you think you have the security out there that you're, you're, oh yeah, your job's going to last for the next twenty years. That's yeah. probably not likely. So, what was it? And gave you that courage to finally jump. You, you know what? Actually, if I, if I take you back ten years before that to 1995, right? That was when the internet came out for me, and I was sitting at home and, and I got a modem. It was one of those, you know, AOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, well. yep. Yeah, yeah, and um, and I saw the web page coming in, like you know, slow and ten seconds loading, and I thought, well, this is the future. This this, this is you know, I I am sure the internet's gonna this it. So it's, it's going to be a big thing, this internet thing, you know. Right. And I, I was working in Photoshop, you know. I was a graphic designer, so I knew Photoshop. And all I could see on websites was loads of Photoshop stuff. And I thought, I've, I've got to get into this. I've got to get into this. And I was so, um, my, my mindset was so wrong that it, I thought it was beyond me. I can't, you know, I looked at HTML and I thought, oh my God, that looks like gobbledygook. I will never understand that geek stuff. You know, I, I cannot do this. And so it took me 10 years before I managed to get a website together. So that was mm -hmm. 10 years of failure. And, and, you know, what I was doing at the time, I don't know, you know, I was just whatever, whatever you know, watching TV and thinking I was useless. So what, what happened, you know, to answer your question is that I actually discovered personal development. I got into reading books about spirituality and meditation and uh, looking after myself and not being so negative and, and all of those things. And I think that happened first. And then I just started to feel happier. And that gave me the energy and the ability to think that I could do it. Um, and it was a slow process, but um, when I look back to that, I, I think I could have started 10 years before, and you know, it was in the head, it, the, the barriers were in the head that I had to uh, overcome. 
You know, I think that's often the case, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, or probably almost always the case. Like if people aren't pulling that trigger on something that they want to do, be it an online business, be it, you know, going to the gym or, you know, like whatever it is, you know, it's that, it's that mental, that initial mental hurdle hurdle that you have to go over. What, what, out of curiosity, because you talked about, you know, uh, consuming spiritual information, uh, uh, information on meditation and things like that. Did you, did you have any particular piece of that? It, that, the, that to where it just kind of resonated yeah. or it just kind of all came together over time? It all came together. I remember reading a, an article on NLP. I don't know if you okay. know about that. Yeah. Neuro, neuro-linguistic programming. Program. An article on Buddhism. And uh, it just there's a couple of things I saw on TV and they all came together at the same time. And I thought, okay. And uh, it was at the time when Amazon was just coming out and it sold books. Amazon just sold books, remember? And uh, so I was getting books from Amazon, books from the library, and there wasn't really any one book that, that helped me, and I can't even remember because I had to give them back to the library, so sure. which books helped. But just general books about uh, personal development, meditation and mindset and, and, and positive thinking, just just the general stuff. And it, there's some great stuff out there, you know, and I keep on reading it as well, I, and, and I attempted to write my own as well at one point. And it just does help, you know. I, well, it helped me anyway. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Because if your if your mind's not in the right place, yeah. um, you know, you. I mean, that, that's pretty much what everything else is based off of. You know, mm-hmm. your your day to day experience, what you think. You know, because you you had the trouble with the HTML. Mm-hmm. So you're looking at it with the negative mindset, yeah. and you're yeah. saying, "There's no way I could possibly do this." Yeah. But then, you know, a little bit later in life, you yeah. look at it and you say. Oh, okay, yeah, I've, you know, because that confidence is there, yeah. you, you know, you, you have a deeper understanding. So you look at it and you say, you know, I can, I can figure this out yeah. and then you go for it. And the next thing you know, you're, you're building websites. Yeah. You know what, what it's, and it's a little baby steps because you think, oh, I can't do this. And then you, you work at it and you do it. And then you think, okay, so I thought I couldn't do this and now I can do it. Maybe I can do these other things that I thought were beyond me as well. You know, and there was a, there was a marvelous moment where where I where my life sort of started went on the right trajectory and and from then, uh, and it hasn't it hasn't stopped since then you know so uh, something went right you know sure absolutely how afraid of failure were you, and like what was your first big um, setback when you were starting? Wow um, well I wasn't particularly afraid of failure because uh, I was in a good position actually because what I was doing was that I, I was temp I was working temporary so I didn't have to I wasn't working Monday to Friday I, I was getting shift work from temp- temporary agencies who who would just call me up and say can you do these five days you know can you do this 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 time and then I would have weeks where it, I, I or half a week where it was free and then I could work on the business and, um, and and so the calls started coming in and you know I, I started I started to, to work um, and, uh, for clients I was absolutely delighted a few things went wrong like you know because I, I put bit off more than I could chew I started to say that I could do web design uh, too early, uh, and, and, and well, I was pushing myself, you know, and, and then obviously I, I, I messed up a few websites for clients, and then I had to work harder without getting paid. Some people didn't pay me, um, but it was it, it was all very manageable. I didn't have any sort of terrible failures that I can remember back in those days, and I've had I've had some terrible failures in the last two years though, um, because. Yeah, you always, I, I, I was, and since then, and at that time, I, as I say, I try to buy myself more than I can chew, and I try to go into an area of business that I'm not experienced in, and and, and there you get the the failures, you know, like sort of M- FBA for me is 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 a huge great learning curve, and it's one that I've not succeeded at at all, and and there was a moment with FBA. It, where I just looked at my computer and I realized, oh my God, I've just lost two thousand pounds, two thousand dollars, and and that was because I had an incorrect bit of information on the packaging of one of my products. Oh wow! Yeah, and and Amazon had to get them uh, taken out of Amazon's uh, and and put repackaged, put back in. Wow. So basically you had something printed on the actual packaging uh-huh. itself uh-huh. and it wasn't accurate to the yep. product or yep. Yep. It and, and Amazon said, Hey, this isn't going to fly. No, well, no I, I, did. I found I noticed it wow. before Amazon did. Yeah. And I Ouch. thought I've got to change that before someone else notices. And, yeah, and I nice. get, you know, so, cause, cause I was making a claim that was incorrect and it was over and above what the actual product 
was so sure. it was it was not good you're selling a potato but you're like yeah, yeah. this is the greatest potato <laughs> on earth it's covered in platinum it's, it was more like the, the size of the potato actually was wrong <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, it, like actually you know there's not even a potato <laughs> in the box. it's, it's, it's a 47 it pound potato <laughs> <laughs> during the process of, of the actual starting out period because initially your journey online was using the internet as a lead generator for your actual, you know, for a service business, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And a lot of the a lot of the things that we talk about on the show are, you know, people doing FBA and drop shipping and yeah. affiliate marketing things like that, which which aren't really a service related business as mm-hmm. much as um, you know, graphic and web design. Mm-hmm. I have a similar background, so uh-huh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm I feel you there. In that process of going from from starting out to where it is you are now, mm-hmm. did you have any points to where you said, you know what? I don't know if this is the right road for me. I don't know if I should if I should give up on this. I don't know if I should just do a 180 and try to find something else. Like, was there anything like that? No, because you, you know what? I think I was really lucky. And that, that's another thing that's... I definitely have had a lot of luck in, in my journey, you know. Uh, for example, I, I, I chose WordPress in 2006. 2005, I, I set up WordPress. And that was just a real bit of luck. Someone told me about WordPress. And um, I, the only thing I could do was graphic design for clients. So that, that, I didn't have any choice. That, that was what I did. That's what I knew. So I thought, well, I, I better stick to this. And then I built an audience in order to, to attract the, the Google traffic. It, it attracted an audience. And that had a, a double, you know, so, so people were linking to me. So it was good and I was getting more clients. But that had a double advantage in that I could collect the email addresses of the audience and then start selling them physical, um, digital products. Nice. Uh, and, and that all fit. So there was two businesses right there that I, I landed on by mistake. Nice. I didn't know that that was going to happen when I started. You know, I didn't, didn't know I was going to get the um, digital product passive income business started at the same time as I, as I got the, the client um, hours for dollars design business started, you know, and but the two things fed to each other. So just, you know, I think there's a, there's a couple of bits of good luck there. You know? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So with your, um, with the web design, are you still doing that? Yep. Okay. Okay. So you're, I, I that and you're, and yeah. you're running um, mm-hmm. all of the side things separately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I, I do quite a lot of different, different things. Yeah. Nice. I think one of the things that you touched on, though, you said it was luck. Mm -hmm. And I think we make luck. I think when you have the intention and you quit your job or whatever it might do, Mm -hmm. you create luck for yourself. Yeah, I mean, there's there's also an awful lot of decisions that I've made uh, that have been the wrong line. You know, like WordPress was a good decision um, and uh, using the Genesis theme was a good decision. When I started selling courses on my, my own site, I made three bad decisions. Uh, with plugins so you know yeah it, it evens itself out at the end of the day what were those it's, bad decisions if you don't mind me asking yeah no problem because uh, i've been talking about that today to, to a friend of mine and it was like um selling your, your your courses on your own site is a really difficult process you've got to um you probably know about it uh you know you've got to do the the video delivery you've got to sort out the the payment gateway you've got to do affiliate schemes and you've got to do couponing and with uh, I use Teachable. You could also use Thinkific, and they do everything for you. Before that, I tried for three years with WordShip, uh, WordPress membership plugins, where you have to do everything. You have to set up the payment gateway yourself. You have to sort out the video storage and delivery yourself, and and it's a hell of a lot of work. And and I got hacked on the last one I, mm. I, I used. Uh, it was a bad plugin, and it was uh, it wasn't protected. I, I kept it up to date, but they had a, uh, a security uh, um, vulnerability in there, and uh, and I got hacked, and it was all my responsibility, and I had to fix it, and 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 so that was a disaster, and it cost me a lot of money and cost me a lot of time. And if I had started on Teachable, I would never have had that problem. And Teachable is off my site. It's all their problem. They deal with everything. You pay them a little bit more money, but but it's you know, worth the peace of mind. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, Kajabi, similar. Yeah, yeah same similar thing. Yeah, thing, yeah. think it's same, same kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. So I think that your approach to this business um, is a, a way a lot of people out there can do. Like if you're there and you're like, I don't know how to do Amazon FBA, but you probably have a skill in your job that you're doing right now. Um, and, and, and what that means is, is you can sell your knowledge. In reality, that's where you can start on your digital journey, which is sell what you know, make a course, learn how to do a course, and sell that. There are tons of places 
that you can sell your information and you have and it could be your maybe your 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 hunter and you know how to track animals you yeah. know or your hobby i mean teach other people how to do this start a youtube channel yeah. i mean i got a kid we interviewed you know last time uh, matt tran who you know he he was just moaning and groaning about you know going to college and not being able to uh, get a job that that will you know he was training for jobs and those jobs weren't turning out the way he thought so he ran it on there a million people watched it and he started a whole business he makes twelve thousand dollars a month from his youtube channel right now yeah yeah, yeah. I, that was what I started on because I found I, I was on solid ground. I didn't have the confidence to go out there and be a sort of like personal development guru or something that I didn't have much experience sure, on. Sure. So I only ever uh, started on, on, on the stuff that I really knew how to do. And when I was writing articles for Google SEO and from my website, it was only on the sort of technical, uh, boring graphic design stuff in Photoshop and Illustrator that, that, that aren't going to be interesting to anyone. But I knew the subject well so I that's what I, I started on and, and 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 people nobody can say to me sort of, oh that's wrong you know um, so so I think it was because of my confidence being so low that I started with something that I was I knew I knew about you know no it's good and I, I think that's important one to start with something that you know about and two you know like like you were saying uh, Rob is uh, uh, you know if you're trying to get into the online space starting with your knowledge or you know like you did start out offering a service you know like if you're trying to get away from your job if you have a service that you can offer a skill set mm -hmm. that you can offer to people for a fee in addition to creating courses you know that kind of thing just offering that service as well is a, is a great foot in the door yeah I, know. I, I don't know why m more people don't do that you know when, when you meet them in, in, in Chiang Mai they want to make create a new app or something <laughs> that, that's that's very sort of out there you know so for something they think they're going to make a a fortune doing it and it's no I don't want to put people off trying that but you know you can just work for people and it will make you can easily make enough it's easier I yeah. mean it's an easier way to succeed yeah absolutely at, at the very least it's a it's a way to get your foot in the door mm -hmm. because yep. then you can you can come to a place like this or you can you know start hanging out with other entrepreneurs to get mm. your mindset together yep. like we were talking yep. about earlier yep. and you can you know start that you know start that process of, of you know creating something bigger in the future the next thing is, is we, we always talk about um, the first dollar you make. And so I guess we'll take it out of the, mm -hmm. the graphic design. So we'll call that still, you got into digital space, but we won't call that your first money. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about maybe the first course you sold or uh -huh. that. Yeah, the first that's passive a, money. Right, passive, yeah. passive money, yeah. because I think that, that everybody and entrepreneurs and everybody we talk to, that this is the most exciting thing on the world. Yeah, then well, you yeah, realize, yeah. see, they, every time they light up, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. So tell us about that experience and how did that feel when you... Yeah, uh, well, it was, yeah, so um, it was actually affiliate commissions that were the first things that I, okay. I made. And I remember tweeting it out. Actually, I can't remember what it was. It was either um, uh, web hosting... I think it must have been web hosting because there was nothing else that I was uh, talking about. So, yeah, that was the first passive income I made was was affiliate commissions, and then after that it was an ebook, uh, which you know it took me ages to do an ebook, you know, and and build a list, build a list of five hundred people and sell an ebook, and then there was another ebook, and then there were and then I started to do the courses. Uh, so I had the pass and I had the affiliate income building up as well. And it's still and it's still going there. So that's another thing you can do, uh, is just just make sure if you're if you're putting links out there, just see if there's a, an affiliate scheme for that product. And if there is, just sign up and make sure it's an affiliate link. You know? Yeah, I, I think that's important too, especially for people that are you know a lot of people that are writing blogs and things mm -hmm. like that. They know about that, but you know people that have uh, YouTube channels and stuff like that. You know, like they're getting tons of traffic to their videos and they're getting just a few dollars on ads to mm -hmm. where if they you know, if they talked about what it is that they were using in their videos or something like that and, and, and put a link down in the description, you know, a lot of people, I mean, you know, you, yeah, you I know, know, for sure. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, he's, yeah, he's made 250K yeah, no. on a video. So, I mean, it's like, uh, uh, you know, just those little things of taking that, that product and, and putting that affiliate link together can, can be a life changing thing, especially if you do it over and over yeah. and over yeah. and over again over time. Yeah. Very good. So, um, uh, Restart that. 
So let's get inside of your actual business. Let's dissect it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So so break down for us what it is that you like exactly what it is that you do because you know you you have like a handful of different things mm -hmm. that you do yeah. a bunch of side hustles your main hustle all of that yeah. like break down for us exactly what it is that you do. Okay, so well it makes sense to start with the graphic and web design for clients, even though that's not something that I actually get involved with on a, on a day to day basis. So I took maybe the four or five best clients that I had. I had I had two hundred. <laughs> clients over the years and um, I got rid of most of them after the passive income started came in, coming in but there were three or four that were just so good they were sure. they're just too good to, to, to lose so I've got people who help me out with them and and they know the jobs like the back of their hands so when the work comes in it's just a case of me passing emails from the client to the the freelancer and, and, and that's all I do uh, but the, it's, a, it's a big part of the business and, and also it, it advised me on on uh, the rest of the business so the, one of the most successful courses that I have done is called running a web design business and that was all the ideas I had through um, dealing with clients you know and and, and that and people just seem to love that material um, so the rest of the business is um, the, the biggest part of the business is selling video courses and that's a big big um, bit because it's they're sold on so many places I was mentioning the teachable site um, on, on my website I also sell on Udemy. I actually started on Udemy, and there are various other platforms that I sell the courses in, and I get VAs to um, to duplicate the courses from from one platform to another. Nice. And I've got a system sort of set up. It's all on the cloud, um, so so that can be done easily, and it doesn't take any of my time uh, to to do that. Um, Ebooks. Uh, I'm big on Kindle, and that would be the the second bit after after the courses um, and, and so uh, Kindle something I love and, and and you know that I now I'm not actually writing any new books but you know it's steady income stream it's not a lot of money but it helps because it gets people onto the email list sure. um, and uh, I was going to mention something else that I've forgotten oh yeah so um, that I keep blogging and and therefore uh, the affiliate commissions still come in, um, and then on top of that, so what, what I what I that was all centered on on my site robcubbon.com. So I felt like that was maybe the the point of um, uh, of that, that might be a risk, you know. Like so, the, I, everything I do goes through my site, you know, and, and I like that, you know. It's good because it, it's got you've got your email list, nobody can take it away from you. You've got your site, nobody can take it away from you. You've got your audience, and then my audience just makes me money, so that, that's great. So uh, I wanted something that was completely separate, separate from my website or my brand. And so I chose FBA. I'm really excited about FBA. I do love the business, but unfortunately, I have not succeeded at it. Um, and that's for a variety of reasons and, and things that I'm just not good at personally. Uh, but I'm going to stick at it and, and, and see where we go from that. However, out of nowhere, this year, merch has, has really taken off for me. Uh, merch by Amazon is where all I do is upload um, designs for t-shirts uh, Amazon sells them and I get the commission I, I get um, the this is where that web design and, and graphic design background comes in really handy it, when things like this pop up it does I mean that's what people say but to be honest with you I mean a lot of the t-shirt design I mean I, I've actually trained a VA now to duplicate well not duplicate but to to run out de uh, designs uh, that are just like a slightly bit different hmm. from the ones that I've done. And oh, so nice. she can do hundreds of t-shirts now and she can upload them. And, and, and again, I can, I can see, I can visualize how that business can scale. Um, and it's, it just didn't take me any time at all because, I, as you know, I mean, I, I, I can rustle up a t-shirt design very easily, uh, put it up there, forget about it, and do about an hour a day and slowly slowly it's making five hundred dollars a month now and you know that's in a few months it's built up to that that level and i can see i can see just it building more as long as i you know 
keep it together and don't uh, lose my uh, uh, merch by Amazon account, which you can do if you get to the wrong, on the wrong size of copyright. Uh, but so that, that's, uh, you know, I finally found uh, a, another business, another side business that doesn't have anything to do with my website, which is what I w wanted FBA to be. Um, but merch by Amazon has, has come in its stead. It's Amazon regardless. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're winning with Amazon. It's just not uh, all sides of Amazon yet. Yeah, yeah. So I guess you kind of went into the kind of time you spend during your week. How many hours do you think you're spending on your business? Yeah, I, that, that's a really difficult question to answer, Rob, because I just, I never, I never plan anything. I never plan my days. I just get up. Uh, and if I feel like working, I'll work. If I don't, I won't. Uh, and that's it. I'm not. I, I do work every day. I do, in, you know, because I do enjoy it. And uh, so, so there's that. But I have no idea how hard I work or if I work hard at all. My buddy always tells me because I go, I don't work that much. I, I feel like I don't work. And he goes, Rob, every time I talk to you, you're working. <laughs> but like, instead of watching TV, I sit here and you know and work on projects. But like, I feel like I'm being entertained at the same time. Yeah. You know, I'm listening to podcasts or whatever, so I feel like I work anytime. And he's laughing at me. So each week, we like to take a look at our guests entrepreneurial tools that you're using so that could be software books podcasts blogs that you listen to things you read inspiration those kind of things every online entrepreneur has digital tools that contribute to their success what's in your digital toolbox so yeah uh, hardware would be like the macbook pro and i have a Sanson Meteor, Meteor mic that, that travels around with me because it's very portable. I like things that are portable because I have to go to England uh, occasionally. And uh, so I was in England, I, I had about, I'll tell you, I, I, was in, I was in England for two weeks. I was managed to work for about four hours while I was there. And I put in my, my microphone and, and I did a few videos and put them up to Dropbox and uh, the uh, and so my my guy in Hungary uh, edited them. Um, so I, I just I'm well into sort of like keeping things minimal and um, and, and just using the basic cloud cloud computing, uh, you know, to, to and the, all the basic sort of uh, chat apps to to chat with my with my VAs and stuff and and um, the the laptop and and the microphone. That's and and the phone. That's about it. Just keep it minimal. That's 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 my answer to that question. Not very good. Nice, so nice. Now that works. Are you listening to blogs? Are you? Or, I mean, reading blogs? Or reading blogs. I guess you're not listening. To, I guess yeah. you could listen. Yeah, if you listen to accessibility yeah. options, you can. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I I mean the, the the one podcast that I listen to is is um, your man Tim Ferriss, and um, and I'm just really interested in cryptocurrencies at the moment. That's what I'm reading about, and that's not really connected with with anything we've been talking about so far but it's just something that has just just got my attention you know so i'm always uh, i'm always sort of jumping from one sort of interesting thing to another so i'm just looking through twitter and um and, and finding interesting articles to read at the moment so i don't really follow any any uh, great sort of internet marketing gurus at the moment not at all and so he's just doing his own thing. I mean, that's what it, you know. He's like, "Hey, I'm just I'm waking up. I'm not planning my day. I'm just kind of living my life. I'm, you know, what I mean, like, <laughs> is that what we're all trying to do? Right, right. He's doing it. Right. It's like it's like life is primary, and then you know, I'll, I'll do all this other stuff kind of around around that. That's pretty awesome. How often do you lose track of what day it is? Oh, all, all the time. The time yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today I go, what, what day is it? Oh, it's Friday. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't. I mean, you just literally don't know all the time. Are you using any software or any tools like that you use? In your yeah, business? it's a screen, screen flow for the uh, videos, which is, really, okay. you know, so I spent a lot of time, not, not a great amount of time, but I do make courses all the time. So it's very easy, just, just screen flow. And you could use Camtasia um, and, and then good, good audio. And I'm obviously using Photoshop for the, um, uh, for the design work and, and Illustrator for the design work now. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it, you know, Chrome and, and all the other stuff uh, are just, it's just the usual, I guess, the usual tools that everyone else uses. And, and you've mentioned a lot about um, delegation, mm -hmm. about, you know, having, a, you know, VAs and things like that. Where do you find your, your VAs? Uh, yeah, well, that's... The You'd bit have to kill us? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, well, no, it's just, it, I tell you what, it, that I found that really difficult. I've had two, uh, two success stories with, with VAs. One of them, 
I met uh, she I met her on Facebook and she was um, she 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 was like consuming my material she was interested in the stuff that I made and I noticed on her Facebook profile she said VA and so she knew about my business and she she was excellent and the other one I met through someone in Chiang Mai mm. who's a Filipina and uh, she is an ex VA and she said, oh, if you're looking for a VA, I might not have a few of my friends. And, and that was, and another, I found another one who's really good. Nice. Going through all the agencies and stuff to find VAs, haven't found it too successful. You know, that's been a lot of hard work and yeah, not, not great. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, it's, the VA role is hard, hard to, to do, to, to um, find good people for. If I'm looking for designers or coders or writers or something like that, it's a little bit easier because you can just, you, you know what you need from them. But VAs is just... There's just too many things yeah. out there they gotta do and yeah. too much information they gotta like think on their own. And yeah. If it's functional like this, it's a lot easier. All right, Rob, with your uh, current business, how everything's going, what are your future goals with it? And is there anything that you're currently working on or anything um, that you are looking into as far as the online business is concerned. And just to put it out there, this is also a great place to do some shameless self-promotion if you would like. <laughs> okay, thank you very much because I do have some shameless self-promotion to, to give you. Perfect. So uh, I'm going to um, I'm, I'm gonna sort of concentrate on FBA. I, I, you know, as I say, it's been a failure for a couple of years or a little bit less and I really want to make it a success. So I'm going to Dig hard on that and, and see if I can make it work. I'm going to scale up my merch by Amazon business, which I'm really looking forward to. I've got Christmas coming up, but next year, you know, I, it's, it's all about volume. I want to get the volume up there and I want to scale it and I want to get the VAs doing it for me and I don't want to do it myself. And uh, But lastly, and, and no, no means least, is I've got to concentrate on my core business, which is at robcubbon.com. And as, you say, as I say, if you go to robcubbon.com slash free courses, you can find five free courses there on WordPress, email marketing, design, whatever, and that will help you in your entrepreneurial journey. But what I've done recently that I would really like to offer your listeners is my Merch by Amazon course, which is a course that's tells you how to build you know make money pr doing selling print on demand t-shirts by uploading designs to amazon or wherever um and get, getting them sold and making commissions and i want to offer that course even though it's uh, on my site for is it 59 or 69 dollars i can never remember it's on my site for 59 dollars and i'm going to offer it to your the Digital Journey uh, audience for ten dollars, Rob and, and Nick, because I love you so much. Nice. How and, do they? How do they? How do they claim that discount? Okay, so I'm gonna. I've made a pretty link. It's cool. It's at robcubbon.com. R O B C U B B O N dot com slash digital journey all one word lowercase if you if you dial that into your browser you can get that course for ten dollars if you just tell sell a couple of free t-shirts after having watched that course then it will play for itself and it's a really great side business to get involved in i'm i'm really loving it i've been doing it for a few months now you know an hour a day and it's making me five hundred dollars a month so um you know if you go there that's a lot of money for an hour a day yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, it's only going to get better because i'm only every day I'm, I'm i'm loading more shirts up there right. selling more so um if you go there robcabin.com slash digital journey get that merch by amazon uh course for just ten dollars um and i will give it a, a deadline to to that coupon it will die at some stage uh, so if you're listening to this podcast please just rush home and do that now yeah, get it now so you don't miss out. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that $500, the touch on the base of that, like I think people get into this, I got to make $10,000 a month mm. mindset that, that and we talked about on some other podcasts where guys are thinking they're going to, and they're disappointed by that. Mm. But $500 a month is where you got to start. You got to start with 100 the first 100 mm. Yes, start with the one. Right, just the yeah. $1 ones, that's that first number. You know, yeah. See how excited everybody gets. If you just want to create some excitement in your life, figure out how to sell $1 worth, and you'll I promise <laughs> right. you it'll be like you won the lottery. But $500 pays cell phone bills and mm -hmm. car payments and rent. insurance and rent in America or wherever you might be. So, And that gives you more time to spend with your family and do that. So don't undersell that it makes $500, but we're talking about it made, figured out how to make $500 in a pretty short period of time. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, and, and the great thing about that Amazon merge, because uh, I think it's a great business model as well, is that there's not a lot of upfront money. No. Nothing. I mean, you know, I mean, you got to pay for some designs and, you know, if you do some graphic design, you know, and you can go to Rob's course on graphic design, and probably yep. figure out how to do yeah, it. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, Boom. Already yeah, done. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it doesn't cost me as no, it, that is all profit. You know, that's that's right. what I like about it. It's just it's just profit. Right. Coming and you don't out. hold inventory. No. You know, there's, there's so there's no, no inventory. No it's kind of like drop, it's like drop shipping T-shirts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's with let you know, but all you have to do is do the designs and, up, and upload and upload them. That's saying, and Amazon does everything else for you. You just you just watch the money coming in. So that's what I like about it. It's so much more simple than FBA. Sure, sure. And we all like to just watch money coming in. Uh, also, I, I, I do love enjoy that. that. Yeah. yeah, ding yeah. ding ding. Yeah. yeah, waking up to those emails, right? right? <laughs> yes, refresh, yes. refresh, yes. refresh. Right. Yes. So, kind of on that, that part there, if you could go back and start this over again. And so this is really for new people and you could communicate to yourself and and think about the lessons you've learned and the mistakes and heartache you've had. What would you tell yourself? Uh, I would just I would just tell myself to do it, to be honest with you, you know, write the first few words of that book, make the first few videos of that YouTube channel or that course, uh, start collecting email addresses, set up a blog, start writing articles, don't. You know, don't let your your lack of self confidence hold you back. You know, everyone started somewhere. We're we're all beginners when we start out. You know, everyone was a beginner, and uh, I, I just can't implore anyone too much to to get started on on the entrepreneurial journey because uh, it really is worth it when 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 you you get there. You know, it's just uh, I can't believe that it's me ten years running a business, living in Thailand. And, and doing what I want when I want, you know, this, this didn't, this sort of thing shouldn't have happened to me, but it did. Why shouldn't it have happened to you? Yeah. Ah, because my family are all sort of like working in London, being miserable. And <laughs> that seems like you're like, yeah. hey, I should be miserable too. What's going on here? Yeah, right. yeah, I just don't understand it, but uh, I'll take that. You know, sure. I'm not complaining. Sure. In sure. fact, every morning I wake up and. And, and I'm very, very grateful for where I am. That's one of the things I hear from a lot of entrepreneurs, too, how they practice gratefulness. Yeah. Like yeah. being grateful. I ride around on my motorbike, and I just think, and I just talk to myself. It's that time when you're just, you know, yeah. mindfulness, and I think, I'm so happy. Yeah. And I'm so grateful. I, I thank love you, my thank life. You. Right. I, I love my love life. My thank life. you, thank yeah. you, thank you. And, yeah. and I think that's super important, yeah. you know, when you start this journey. But like you said, just get started. Just do something towards that goal. And you'll be shocked, actually, how the universe starts rewarding you. And things that you mm -hmm. didn't expect will just show up. Yeah. It's because you started down that path. Yeah, absolutely. So earlier in the show, you were talking about um, uh, confidence and how that was kind of a hurdle initially when you first were getting started. Um, was that your biggest weakness in, in this whole entire thing? And, and you mentioned, as far as that was concerned, you mentioned that you were like, you know, you started consuming um, content, you know, through mm -hmm. books and things like yeah. that to, to help you overcome yeah. that. Yeah. But would you, would you define that as your, as your biggest hurdle? And if not, what, what was your biggest hurdle? Yeah, it probably was. It? it probably was. Because I, I, and the other thing I, I always think is that how I, how I make money, it never came from one great secret, you know, because everyone's looking for that sort of Facebook ad, you know, um, that, that, that killer sort of um, strategy that's really going to make the bucks come in. Spend $100, make $18,000 by this time tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, nothing happened like that. It was all very sort of slow. <laughs> it doesn't and happen like It never that. happens like that. <laughs> right. it, it's all sort of slow and unspectacular because it's like it was little steps, you know. And I, I managed to write a, a blog post. I managed to get one email address subscriber. I managed to... Yeah, put a book out. I managed to sell a one PDF ebook, and, and I managed to make a course on Udemy, and then it started selling, and uh, and, and it was just very slow, and it did it did sort of build with some momentum a few years back, and and and, and the money sort of the passive money started coming in, uh, but it was really unspectacular, and I, I never I never did anything clever like uh, that. Nothing, you know, I never did anything that no, nobody else hadn't hadn't done. You know, that's another thing is is like and everyone's you know lots of people sell courses on on WordPress, right? You know, and that was the most the biggest money earner, and and uh, you know it's just the fact was the demand is out there for WordPress courses, you know, so um, it, it's um, you, you know the confidence comes with with in the act of of, of taking action for for me, you know. So if somebody was listening to this right now and 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 they're you know they're having that same 
issue with mm-hmm. their with their confidence would that be your recommendation to them to just take action start I, it, it certainly would Nick yeah I would just say you know you can do it you know, it's, just, it's just there's nothing about you that that means that you can't do this you know there is nothing wrong with you um, and the way you can there's only one way to find out you, I, you, you won't believe it if I tell you but you will believe it if you start and, and, and you, you get that small success, you know, just, 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 just a little thing and then build on it, you know. That's, now, that's you, awesome. now you're saying like you won't believe, you know, like what mm-hmm. the stuff that can happen. Mm-hmm. Like, like f- from your experience, what has surprised you the most from like, you know, that day one of, hey, I'm going to start mm-hmm. doing this mm-hmm. to now? Like what's, uh, what's been your biggest surprise of the, this whole thing? The, well, the biggest, the, big, the, big, the thing I love is, is when people email me and say, you know, man, you've really changed my life, you know, for the better, you know, I've, 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 you've helped me and, um, you know, and I get emails like that all the time and it's just, it, I, that freaks me out, you know, yeah. yeah. That's awesome though, because yeah. it, it lets you know that you're contributing back. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So yeah. It, it's not only are you, um, uh, are you getting income from it to where you can, you know, support yourself and all that mm-hmm. stuff, but you're actually contributing to the lives of other people, which is a powerful, powerful yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm very grateful for it. So uh, I guess at the end of this, what's the payoff for your life? And do you feel successful? I, I feel successful because I'm happy. You know, that's, that's how I, I see yeah. that, You know, that's how I measure success. You know, people, people will say, this guy has made, you know, $80,000 in two seconds. And, and he, must, he must be a great guru to talk to. And I was like, well, if, no, if he's miserable, then right. he's not a good guru to talk to. And maybe you should try someone else. So uh, I think the payoff is happiness. You know, I, I was not happy getting up at, at 8 o'clock and going to work in the freezing cold London winter and getting onto an underground train and going to, to a place that I didn't want to go to with people I didn't want to meet and work that I didn't want to do. We're uh, talking to you, person sitting on the train right now. <laughs> oh, no, because I don't want to make them feel worse. Um, but yeah, it, 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 the payoff is happiness. I mean, Thailand is just the icing on the cake. You know, I was really amazed I was able to do it in London. Uh, and um, Thailand actually does make it a lot better. Though, I've got to that, say. I mean, I think that's an important thing, too. Just because you, we talk about Thailand, it just happens to be because we're here. Yeah. Listen, don't take that as you did it in London. I think that's an important thing. You, you can do it in you know, Nova Scotia. You can do it in Wisconsin. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can create a digital course, and that's why it's digital. The, the opportunity is open for every single person. Yeah. And all you got to do is go find a skill you have. I don't care if it's bad, man. I don't care how small it is, how you cut your yard, how you take care of your yard. You do something Mm -hmm. that's valuable to someone. And if you'll make YouTube videos and create some kind of small course, and it's not that hard. I bet you there's a course on how to create a course. There is. I I haven't made one, but there there are plenty out there. Maybe that's what you need to do, a course on how to make a course. I'll I'll go home and do it now. We'll split that. I want to be an affiliate. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Hey, guys. Thank you so much for coming and listening to the Digital Journey podcast. Um, if you're interested, ah, let me try that one more time. Okay. I have to skip to your line. Hey guys, thanks for coming, Rob. We appreciate you coming by so much and hanging out with us today. You've been listening to the Digital Journey Podcast, navigating you through the online business journey. We will see you next week. If you've not listened to our previous podcast, you can check them out at digitaljourneypodcast.com and there's a whole bunch more inspiring stories from people just like Rob sharing a lot of the same information and inspiration in maybe a different form but definitely check that out and Rob if, if people want to find out more about you yeah. Where can they where can they find more about you if they want to get in touch with you if they want to brainstorm with you if they want to buy a course? Where, Basically, where? robcubbon.com, r o b c u b b o n dot com, or just Google Rob Cubbon, and there's a contact form there, and my courses are there, and my free free books and free courses are there. So just get in touch, man. Okay, fantastic, and thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure, man. Thanks for having me on. And we really encourage you to give us some feedback if you're listening to this right now. So leave a review or send us a message and just let us know what you think about the show. And if you have a great story that you want to share, you can reach out to Rob at GorillasOnline.com and that's with a Z at the top of the page or me at NickNimmon.com. And if you're interested in searching for an online business or selling your business, make sure you check out Empire Flippers at EmpireFlippers.com. Opportunity is waiting for you at Empire Flippers. Hey, thanks guys, listeners, for sharing our digital journey. We wish you tons of success in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast and it has inspired you. Before we let you go, I wanna share some wise words from some other smart entrepreneurs. 
or even just athletes, because this one comes from Michael Jordan. I've missed more than 9,000 shots of my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot, and I missed it. I failed over and over and over again in my life. That is why I succeed. Boom. Michael Jordan, boom. boom. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. You are listening to the Digital Journey Podcast. The Digital Journey is brought to you by Empire Flippers, the largest marketplace for selling and purchasing online businesses. EmpireFlippers.com.